All right, welcome back, everyone. You know, twin brothers from Madeira are doing double duty as farmers and vintners, but they're giving the traditional vino a healthier spin with pomegranates. Here with more on the owners of are the owners of Twin Pomegranates Wine. We've got Nick and Brian Davis. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Good Thank morning. You. Good morning to you. Good morning. I like how one of you is holding a pomegranate and the other one's holding <laughs> a bottle of wine. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit about yourselves and when did you decide that A, you wanted to be farmers and then turn what you're doing as far as farming into wine. Absolutely. Well, we uh, we grew up farming, of course, mm -hmm. naturally. We uh, grew up on the ranch as we were young kids, turning trays, raising trays. Mm -hmm. uh, grew up pruning grapes, uh, driving tractor, the harvester, you name it, we did it. And then we decided to go to college with the Cal Poly, uh, graduate with an enology degree, and he graduated with a, a marketing degree. Mm -hmm. So we decided through the process of also farming pomegranates, let's decide to turn it into a pomegranate wine. Wow. So that's what we came up with. And this is a completely unique idea, isn't it? Do you know of anybody else? that uh, is doing this, Brian? You know, actually, uh, there are some wines from uh, the Middle East that are pomegranate. Uh -huh. There are a few more California wines. They tend to be a sweeter wine. Mm -hmm. Our wine, we actually wanted it to be more of a dry wine. So mm -hmm. it's not very sweet. It's much more like a table wine. It is. You left me a bottle last time that you were here, and yeah. I tasted it. And it is very dry, but you can, after, the aftertaste is very much like a pomegranate. It's it's really neat. Yeah, it's very really good. cool, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. It's uh, something that we really want to preserve as a pomegranate character. Mm -hmm. uh, most, or a typical dessert wine could be up in the range of 10 to 12% residual sugar this is only three percent residual sugar okay. so for, it makes for a great table wine and it's very smooth yes it's very yes. smooth going down yes. okay how long have you um, had the wine and how's it been going where are you selling where, people, where can people get it and where are you well, how are you introducing it to the valley yeah so we uh, we actually don't have a winery mm -hmm. uh, because we're more of the grower side but mm -hmm. uh, we actually sell through Save Mart and bonds and we've That's just great. been getting into more bar scenes so we've been picking up with um, the neighbor's tap and uh, bar. Which is in Clovis, right? Which is right? in Clovis. Fowler, is Let's it see. Fowler and ooh, I'm not Nice? Sure. Fowler and Nice? That sounds it's, about it's right. in that area. Yeah, yeah. And so if you go to neighbor's, you can actually order a bottle of Twin Palms. Or Silver Dollar Hofbrau actually okay. carries our wine also, and they have mixed drinks, which we're actually doing a promotion party tonight, tonight actually, at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So you can come by, pick up uh, any one of our mixed drinks that we make with our wine. We okay, so you don't really just have to have a glass of, of pomegranate wine. It's sort of our goal right now to oh. get in a more bar scene, a more restaurant scene, not only in retail locations, mm -hmm. but those other locations like restaurants and bars. So we actually make eight signature cocktails with our wine, a uh, pomegranate margarita, a pomegranate martini, and oh. a couple others as well. And uh, we'll be promoting that, those uh, cocktails this evening at Silver Dollar Hofbrau at 7 p.m. Anybody's welcome to come. All right, that is tonight yeah. at 7 p.m. But if you want to see more of Twin Palms, Friday, August 20th, you're going to be at the Vons at Shepherd and Cedar as well, right? Yes. Right. Yes. Okay, right. so you, you both will be there. Come out, ask Answering questions. questions. Uh, Maybe we can have a little taste. Well, I can't Maybe. do any tasting, <laughs> but uh, we can definitely give you an idea All of what, right. you, what you're in for. Sounds good. Sounds yeah. good. I know that you've been doing a lot since we last talked to you. You've been at the Santa Barbara Wine Festival. Yep. Uh, you've been um, working with the Animal Center as well, the Valley Animal Center. Yeah. Tell me yeah. about that partnership. The Valley Animal Center is, is doing really good things for the community, mm -hmm. uh, the little guys, including the, uh, the four-legged animals like cats and dogs. <laughs> and uh, what they do is they rescue animals, they rehabilitate them, and then they find them great homes. And so we did. We actually did that ourselves. We adopted two animals before we even paired up with the Valley Animal Center. Okay. So we're doing great things with them, and uh, we're gonna help them in any way we can. Okay. So whenever they have a fundraiser, you're involved with that. Yes. Okay. Fantastic. Um, you're gonna be bringing a mobile adoption center to the launch. Or no, they're gonna be bringing yep. the mobile adoption center to your launch party in October. Yeah. In October, October 16th, we're gonna have a launch party to release our two new wines in addition to this year's pomegranate wine. Mm -hmm. And so, again, the Valley Animal Center is going to be bringing their uh, mobile adoption unit called Mark. Mm -hmm. And there we're hopefully going to be able to get some animals, some homes with people that really like our wine. Good Maybe they could take a few animals home with them. Doing <laughs> wonderful, wonderful things. Double duty. You guys yeah. are working double duty as twins. I love right. that. Remember, you can get the wine at Vaughn, Save Mart, and a lot of liquor stores. But we'll see you out tonight at Silver Bra Dollar Brow. What? Half Silver Brow. Dollar Hofbrow, 7 p.m. Stick around, folks. Central Valley Today. We'll be right back. Thanks, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.